Uh, I'm David Wallace. I'm retired now. I was a professor of mathematical sciences at Edinburgh and then vice chancellor at Loughborough for 12 years. And the last eight years I've been in uh, Cambridge as Master of Churchill College and also as director of the Newton Institute. Um, do I have a specific expertise in this conference? Well, I was the founding chair of the Centre for Science and Policy um, here um, in Cambridge, which has uh, flourished in, a, in an extraordinary way we couldn't have envisaged at the beginning. And um, I did actually, I've been involved in, in a project. Uh, we initiated the uh, recording of all our lectures uh, at the Newton Institute. These are specialized maths lectures, but they're now actually, and it's not quite big data, but there's been downloaded approaching half a petabyte of these specialized maths lectures and they're actually the most popular um, site in the whole of uh, in the whole of Cambridge for uh, international downloads in fact a number of them. Well it's been uh, extremely interesting um, a couple of things I've um, picked up um, one from uh, Ken Bunwa's uh, uh, talk um, about where he mentioned and under um, the ethical issues and he called it it was uh, emotional contagion now I don't know what he means by that but um, what I think about that is the fact that when human beings get together there can be co cooperative emotional phenomena which go beyond the rational and an example for me before any social media was at the death of Princess Diana killed in a car crash in that Paris tunnel, uh, there was a phenomenal upwelling of um, cooperative social grief at her, um, at her death. I'm not saying that was wrong, but it was a phenomenal. Now, uh, of course, this was before social media, and with social media now, you have an, um, an extraordinary capacity for social media to accelerate uh, and amplify uh, all of that. And that, to me, is quite uh, worrying. The second thing which I picked up in, the, in um, one of the um, talks by um, Alison uh, this morning um, was the issue of um, the role of bots. And they did some studies with um, rather uh, simple bots which looked as if they didn't have a big um, uh, impact on Twitter, but thinking now of what one can do to bring what appears to be human intelligence through these emerging, these deep neural network techniques, etc., emerging, and, and what you could build into an army of bots which you can unleash on, on people, um, that is potentially, it makes, is particularly when you have this the emotional contagion is, um, occurring, because these bots can really potentially influence things in a, in a way which might be quite, quite distorting, even though it didn't in her study. So a couple of things which uh, came out quite very interestingly for me. Well, I'm thinking, I mean, I'm chairing the, um, the, the talk by Ross Anderson uh, this afternoon where he's looking at ethical and privacy issues in medical data. He's done a big report uh, with others for the Nuffield Foundation. Um, it has a very interesting general principles. It would be great if some of these could be um, embodied into um, uh, principles accepted by government as part of their policy, for example. So one of the things that the conference could do um, is actually reinforce um, that kind of message. So picking up on the expertise and the inputs which people are making at this conference and reinforcing them. Networks are always best when, for me, when there is a self-emergence of self-interest. So. Um, uh, so I think it will be the key thing, it will be an interesting measure of the success of the conference as to whether it continues and uh, grows in terms of its impact and the engagement of people afterwards who uh, went, went here.